everybody. It's so good to see you. Happy Thursday. So um, I heard that you've been studying fish, ocean life, and I have a book to start with today called The Rainbow Fish. You may have seen this one before. And it starts out, a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Okay. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Yeah, it looks... yeah. A, A. Okay, make sure everybody has their mute button on. Okay, nice and quiet. Looking good. Nice job, eyes and ears. You guys are wonderful. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves had told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how happy you are. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale he thought, well, Maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little flu blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. 
When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt as at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And that is the end of the rainbow fish. So then we have a second story today, and then we'll talk a little bit about which story you enjoyed the most. This one is called Swim, Swim. Swim, swim. I'm lonely. I need to find a friend. Swim, swim. Wowza, swim. Pebbles, will you be my friend? I say, Pebbles, will you be my friends? Talking to the pebbles down on the bottom of the ocean floor. <laughs> so you're not talking. Fine, be that way. This is a big world. I'll find a friend. Swim, swim. Bingo. Sir, would you be my friend? I understand. You don't want to talk to me either. Good thing you can't see tears underwater. Sob. Wait, I hear something. Swim, 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 swim. Howdy, Bubbles. Blub, blub, blub. Blub, blub, blub. Do you kids speak fish by any chance? Blub, blub, blub. Oh, I guess not. I'll try talking bubble. Blub, 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 blub. Whatever I said is making them run away. Oh dear. It's official. No one loves me. Hold on. This guy seems to really like me. What's your name, pal? Yummy. Nice name. My name is Lurch. Lunch? No, Lurch. No, I think you're lunch. Okay, I'm lunch. Lunch. Meet dinner. My name is Dinah. Uh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Will you be my friend? Yes, swim. <laughs> swim. Hold fins. Swim. They made a little heart. So we have swim, swim, and we have the rainbow fish. So let's catch up with Mr. Danielson and